Hi, I'm Tommy with Y2AYradios.com, and this is Radio 101. A license is required to operate a GMRS radio, and the FCC rules limit eligibility of the license to individuals. Yet, there are some businesses that have them and are actively using GMRS radios in their daily operations. The FCC refers to them as grandfathered licenses. These are licenses that were granted to companies and organizations before the rules were changed in 1987 to prohibit their eligibility, but they are still active and maintained. According to the FCC, any non-individual person that holds a grandfather GMRS license may allow individuals to operate its grandfather GMRS stations, and only under the following conditions. A partnership may allow its partners and employees to operate its GMRS stations, a corporation may allow its officers, directors, members, and employees to operate its GMRS stations. An association may allow its members and employees to operate its GMRS stations. And a governmental unit may allow its employees to operate its GMRS stations. It is important to note that the FCC does not accept applications to modify, assign, or transfer grandfather GMRS licenses except to update contact information. Of course, if you have any other radio licensing questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call, email, or hit us up on our online chat at buy2wayradios.com. I'm Tommy with buy2wayradios.com, and this is Radio 101. Class dismissed.